before we begin, I do want to remind people that I do have a giveaway for this Drift Tech uh, once I hit 1,000 subs. So to have a chance at getting this Drift Tech, do make sure you're subscribed just because you might not have any Accelerations cards. It's a good start to the collection if you don't have any. Um, I'm not sure on the exact method of the giveaway just yet, but it will be my first community post once I do hit that 1,000 subs that allows me to make community posts. Okay, and this is what we're here for, the Labyrinth Realm. Um, there has been a lot of discussion about it. A lot of people get a bit lost in the Labyrinth Realm. So I'm going to do my best to just have a quick run through it and, you know, see if we can help you out. Um, it's easy to kind of segmentize the whole thing and, you know, come up with where you should be as you go. Um, so we will give it a crack. Um, do bear with me, I may have trouble remembering. Um, I do have the map up just to be safe. Holy crap, I have not seen this with the new walls. This looks nice. Alright, so the first thing you want to do, you can't turn left. I'm glad that the rocks don't actually exist. That would really suck. But, so you want to do a full right here. Just follow this right wall for a bit. Now, in a real life labyrinth or whatever, uh, or maze, you would obviously follow the right or left wall to get yourself out. Unfortunately, in this situation, you can't do that because... It's a closed loop of wall that will actually get you to the portal. It's not actually on the outside. Now, so you want to turn left there. So after you've gone all the way around, you can't actually turn right anymore. Turn left. You want to skip this first right and take the second right. And then you want to drive all the way to the end. And then you want to take the last possible right into here. And then you want to shoot left and you want to just head all the way up to this wall. And it will spin you around. You want to do a turn here and get up to the end here and I think it's another U-turn it is another U-turn you want to follow it around here and then just stick to this left wall for now until you get to here and then you want to cut through this doorway instead of going through that straight section to a dead end and you want to just follow this wall taking the exit and then you need to go right, left, I'm a bit lost, I think it's right here, it is right here, and then you get to somewhere unspecified, here, okay, here is basically a marker, you'll see that section ahead kind of looks like the spawn just backwards, um, that means, that's a good way to remember that you are on track, and just to turn left from there and then you want to turn right you'll see this massive long path this is pretty much the outside of the track and you want to follow that all the way to the end you go left at the end of it here it is a pretty tight turn and then just follow this left wall from here and you won't miss as long as you just follow this left wall for a bit that wall is obviously no good and boom there's your portal we're gonna go through it a little faster this time and see if we can't you know do a decent time now the fastest I've done this doing this path is a 1 minute 23 um, so that's the sort of time you can expect if you have a fast enough car I think that was crazy 8 I did that in but that was before all the cars got nerfed so who knows Obviously the Chevelle is one of the faster cars in the game. It's a pretty standard car, but we'll see how we go. Alright, so a right U-turn and then right, left, second right, all the way down to the end to the last right. Cut through this section, a U-turn here and a U-turn here should be just follow this wall for a bit so you get to here cut through there follow this one all the way to the end turning left right left right left right see that open section go left right into the big long straightaway Oop. try not to crash into the wall 
follow this wall around a bit on the left side. Come into here, there is this secret little gap. And there is your exit. Well, 138, that's not bad for the Chevelle. I wasn't really trying for a great speed. Um, so that's, that's one to look at there. Now, some of you might have noticed if you've tried the Ultimate Race, that the Ultimate Race isn't the same. Like, you don't start in the same spot and in fact you don't actually start anywhere you would actually be from doing the walk trail normal uh, from doing the labyrinth trail normally so i'm going to take you to the spawn of the ultimate race for labyrinth trail so we're going to go through here now if i'm not mistaken we still want to turn right we do and then left and it's, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Which is a big if. A very big if. It should be this wall. This wall should be it. Let's try that. I'm gonna use this. Oh no. Alright, this is it. This is your ultimate race spawn. So you will spawn here on the ultimate race. Thank you for the warp charger getting me here. Now, from the ultimate race spawn, it's actually pretty straightforward. You want to just turn right, and you want to go all the way down to almost the end here. It's a long stretch. You want to take this left here, and then you just want to hug this right wall from here. That's it. You just hug the right wall from here, and it will take you there. And boom. That's it. That's that's the ultimate race sport. It's actually super super easy. Just want to get down there and from the end of that straight, you're facing the wall that takes you to the portal. You just need to follow that wall. Now there is one other way to do the walk from, um, and this way it gets a bit insane. And this one again comes down to track knowledge. The best reason for this is if you want to show off to your mates that you can do Warp from uh, the Labyrinth from sorry, I keep saying Warp from because I use the Warp Charger here, um, faster than your friends. So you want to immediately just teleport through this wall, boom, massive shortcut, you saved yourself a few seconds there. Now at the end here, instead of going right, you want to go left, and then there's this wall at the end. Again, you just want to teleport your way through, Oh, in this case I have made a mistake. Um, Alright, I'm out of the hole. I need one more accelerator. Do need all three for this to work. And then this wall here on the left side. And boom, we're through. And then you'll find we're at the end. And using that method, you can do the track in under one minute. Now, I will run through it a bit faster this time, not stopping to go this wall, this wall, this wall. And we'll see if we can do that in sub one minute. Alright, that's a poor start because I did go a bit early. That was entirely my fault. Oh no. So, the issue that I had there huh, is that the car was in reverse despite the fact that I was in the menu and not reversing. Uh, yeah, the issue I had there was actually because of the, uh, a glitch with the Acceler Chargers, so I will try that again. Ah, oh, you gotta watch out for that glitch. If you are trying to speedrun anything with any Acceler Charger, if you cancel the Acceler Charger early, it will start your next use on the previous one's timer if that timer hasn't yet ended. Which, as you can see, caused me to prematurely teleport there because the teleporting when you manually do it counts as a cancel. There you go, and that's how you can do the Labyrinth Realm in under a minute. Now, there is a few things that 
about the Labyrinth Realm. It's a very set path. Once you know it, the realm becomes so easy. It becomes a breeze. Ultimate Race, it's like 15 to 20 seconds worth of track. Maybe 30. Uh, doing it normally, going for a record, you can do it in under a minute and a half. It is insanely easy once you know it. However, for a new driver, is the worst realm in the world because there is no method to the madness. There is no pattern, there is no landmarks, there's nothing. And it's really hard to find a fine line between that. It really is. There is nothing to say, you know, which way is right or wrong. I think the best solution for this realm, if I'm honest, is let's bring up the map. Because there is a map on Wiki. Um, so you'll start here. I wish that I didn't have that. Uh, so you'll start here. You come around here and you skip this one. That's purely just to avoid having that corner there. So you come down here and then through through all the way up here yada yada I was really good at those McDonald's placemats and then you're in okay so what you the, the best way to deal with this is you just close off a path somewhere along here so you're forcing people to come out and go up and then you're forcing them to come through here which still seems like a really solid they might even be faster because you've got such a big straight away um, Let's give that a shot, shall we? Just as one last thing. Now, we saw how fast I did it in the Chevelle before, so we're going to try and do it in the Chevelle again, just to compare the times, and just see if it's worth our time. Um, massive, straight, long piece of track. Uh, just a matter of not making the mistakes doing this path, because I haven't done it before, so we'll see. We will see. It opens at about 25 seconds too, for those wondering. However, it does have a random chance of opening at 27 seconds. Be aware of that. Um, there's not really much you can do if it does. There's no way to determine before it does it or anything like that. Ooh. So here, instead of taking the right, we're gonna go, oh, the second right, we're gonna left, 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 or right, right, whatever directions are hard when I'm focusing on a path I've never taken uh, and then you want to skip over the gap you want to come in this way right left through here and then we're going down to the end and now we're back onto the original course I don't know how much time I've saved especially because I had to stop and look to see where I'm going oh no and had accidents You know, even with the accidents, I feel like I've still done this slightly faster. Um, I'll have to compare the two times, but I'm pretty sure my previous time was not that quick, and I had so many mistakes. That actually might be a more refined path, just because you're not weaving back and forward. So, <laughs> it's not tried and tested yet. That may just be the best and quickest way through Labyrinth Run. Any other way is a dead end and there's no need for it or just is the long way around but something we can look at in the future um, and here's me saying hey we should go that way instead there is an entire section of the labyrinth realm that doesn't get used like we'll exit the main menu here we'll bring this back up so this entire section like down here all of this is unused entirely like you've only got a small section here that's not being used which is this section that's not a problem this section not being used is fine but f everything from here down just means nothing even outside of ultimate race or even using the ultimate race that entire section of track is just completely unused so this big x thing that'd be cool it's just unnecessary to get to the end quickly i reckon if we blocked off this path we could force people to go in here we block off this we force people to go around the x or even if we force them to go around through there uh, we'd have to open that up, but there's a lot of potential for sending people on a longer path by just blocking a few exits, and we can make the Labyrinth Realm a much more driving focused realm rather than just like, oh, here's the quick exit, let's go quickly. And also, the more twists and turns you put into the track, 
the longer the track is and the harder it is to memorize everything. So if you can't memorize where you're going, you've got yourself a bit of a decent realm. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So there's how you can improve the Labyrinth Realm for the dev team. It's just block this off and maybe block this off, make this just two dead ends. Uh, and you're extending the ultimate race just by a few seconds and you're extending the normal track by almost double the length just because instead of just skipping down through here they're forced to go all the way through here and then through this section which it's not that big a difference but it'll be notable for the drivers um we're still not using this little square but that's fine you obviously can't expect us to use every single inch of the labyrinth but it's, it'd be nice to have some section, like a little more of the track used, because right now the line is so minimal. Um, I might actually try and just fill in with colour using paint or something, <laughs> which way we can go. Alright, and just here we have the a little bit of a guide, so you'll start here. Uh, now the main thing is, you know, for the current path, this is the one everyone uses, you just follow the green, you'll make it to the end. Uh, the alternate path is the one I came up with in that video follow the blue where you can otherwise just follow the green in all these if your color runs if the color you're following runs out follow green uh, orange for the ultimate race again you'll just follow it until you hit the green path and then follow the green path and then for the warps you skip into here and then you'll skip through that wall and that wall and again just follow the green where it doesn't have the color that you're trying to follow uh it's a pretty standard system i feel um i'm not going to be posting the map anywhere um but it's just a rough guide because it, it's not a very good map but it is just a very rough guide um thrown up in paint of just where to go and hopefully all these tips help getting you through the labyrinth room.